So hey, hey, hey guys, um, I wanted to show you guys the progress so far on the world's best audio review website. Um, so I know a lot of you guys don't care about frequency responses, measurements, headphones, IEMs, microphones. No, a lot of you guys don't care. But a lot of people use audio equipment. You probably use headphones. You probably use earbuds. You probably use consumer grade stuff to enjoy content on a regular basis. It's kind of stupid, I'll be honest. Just, you know, get some Apple earbuds and, you know, some gamer headphones and, you know, you're good to go, whatever, you know. But, um, and this website is to kind of show you, um, you know, what is out there, what you're getting, um, and just how good it is. Um, for example, got microphones, headphones, IEMs. Um, I even have like reviewers and preference targets and all this stuff that I'm filling out. Um, so for example, here's the microphones I've gotten reviewed so far. Not that many. Um, and again, the, it goes with the frequency response database I'm building up. So this frequency response database, it, you know, it's a work in progress. Uh, I've added a lot of uh, pro products from all these different companies. I'm going to be adding a ton more. I vet the frequency response measurements pretty critically so that I'm fully confident that these measurements are all, you know, the, of the highest caliber um, to show you what you're getting. So we can, you know, make the diffuse field baseline, uh, pin it, flatten it, bring in the end game measurement, um, hide the diffuse field baseline. And this is how the Philips SHIP 9500 measure, you know. We can look at, um, you know, some of this other stuff, um, like, uh, you know, the biodynamic DT, the biodynamic T1s. And we can see how they measure. Okay. And we can see over here, we actually have a review link. So we can, we can actually click the review link and it'll take us to one of my reviews where I'm analyzing where well, you have to, you have to register on the, the forum, my little ham hams. But, um, you know, it's a complete write up with enough information on the, the headphones, uh, to tell you what you're looking at, what you're seeing, you know, and, uh, you know, we can download this graph and we can start editing it, you know, this is how I make it. And I try, lately I've been trying to pick the same color as the target, the, 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 the measurement. So, you know, um, yeah, I have a drawing tablet. Yeah, boys. I'm kind of half-assing it, but you get the point. Look at these huge cuts in the, the treble. Sad. So, you know, it, just, it would be hard as hell to use a mouse. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of this drawing tablet. I, I you know, you always find a use for something. You know, you don't need to draw anime characters with a drawing tablet. But, you know, huge bloated mid bass, huge ear gain cut, huge 6K peak veiled treble. But at least it's got good sub bass. So, bad, 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 bad. The entire response, bad. Except right here, it's pretty good. Good sub bass. Yeah, boy. Um, yeah, but this is, uh, an example of an extremely V-shaped sound. Yeah. And that cuts off over here. But, um, yeah. 
anyways, um, what else was I gonna show you guys? I guess that's it. Um, I just wanted to show you, you know, we've got tons of, it looks like nothing. It looks like I've, what I've written up, one, two, three, four, five, six IEMs. Well, actually more than that because this one has IE 200, 600, 900. Yeah, sometimes like, um, a lot of, uh, audio equipment is worth, um, comparing, you know? Like a lot of headphones, a lot of microphones, like, you know, I'm comparing the DT770s, 880s, 990s, 600, 650, 6, you know, 60S. You know, you can compare a lot of uh, audio equipment. Um, same with microphones. You know, comparing similarly designed microphones that sound similar. Um... But, um, again, you can go on to the website and, um, slightly laggier than usual. <laughs> you can request for reviews. Um, and I will, you know, oh God, KZ products. Um, but, you know, I've reviewed everything they've listed so far, KZ products. I, maybe I'll get around to it. Anyways. So that's the progress of the website. I hope you guys think it's pretty interesting. Um, it'll teach you a lot, and odds are, like, if you learn enough of this, you'll, you know, stop buying so much crap if you're into this hobby.